Hello everyone and welcome back to Just Finish Coding. This is part 2 of our casino shell game which we're making on Scratch 3. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Just finished coding. Now I have to interject here that if you've not watched part 1, please watch it before you come here because as you can see I'm picking up from where I left off and for this video to make sense you need to have watched the previous one. I will leave a card for you right here. Please watch the video and then come right back. If you're still here I'm going to assume that you've watched part 1. In which case, let's continue with our code within the cups. So I'm first going to click on the left cup and then I'm going to throw in all the code which is pretty much the same into the center cup and then the right cup. So first let's start with a when green flag is clicked and in this case I'm just going to set up the position right here. So as far as our position is concerned, I'll be going to x negative 160 and y0. Um, next we can get into this little function that I will define or the block which I will define whatever you want to call it and this just makes it very very easy when we are moving stuff around and it just saves a lot of time doing it this way. So just be a little bit careful when you're typing in the inputs. So I'm going to have go to and then add in an input. I'm going to say x1 or uh, yeah x1. Um, then I'm going to add in another one or um, no, another in, another input and I will say y1 and after this what I will do is add in a label, add in a comma and then say then x2 followed by y2. So x2 again input and y2 just this way and you don't really even have to click run without screen refresh and if you do you will start to get some errors. Just have it this way and then click OK. So as you can see that was a pretty big block but it's going to be worth it. So within uh, defining this block what I'm going to do is say I'm going to glide uh, seconds to some kind of position. So now I'm going to make a variable called speed and I will uh, change this a little bit later on not the variable name but the way it's set up. As of now just put in the speed variable here so glide speed seconds to and here you can say x1 and then y1 then you can duplicate this code and you can throw off the x1 and y1 um, you know parameters and then say x2 and then y2 and after we're done with all this we need to go right back to where we were initially and the reason I'm doing this is because in the end when the player is checking the cup basically is clicking on what cup the ball should be in theoretically we can just have a predetermined idea that uh, if the left cup is selected then the position would be the players the position which the player is guessing you know the ball is in is going to be negative one now we could do it without this code as well but then in the future we'd have to add a little bit more code so as of now it's just better to add this one line of code and not worry about the various if and else conditions that will come on later in case we don't so anyway add this in and that is going to be pretty much it so now we can grab each one of those messages and do the respective animation for each of them. Uh, I'm going to head over to the thumbnail and make sure it's hidden just because it's pretty much impeding the flow of, you know, the code. So let's get back to the left cup and the first message I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to code in is going to be the message where we are shifting the left and the center and that is going to be negative one, two, zero. So if, uh, when we receive this message, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the left cup up like this and I'm, go I'm going to move this uh, center cup down like this and then they're going to come right back in the form of basically a diamond okay if you want to think about it and uh, I'm going to use this convention where if we're moving from left to right then we move the cup up and if we're moving from right to left then we move the cup down. Uh, that's going to apply basically when we're switching the left and right cups too so don't get too confused with the coordinates that time. Okay, so let's go halfway, which means we need to have a gl uh, not glide, but a go to. Uh, we're going to go halfway, but down. So as far as our down is concerned, um, not down for the left, up for the uh, up for the left cup. But as far as our you know the change in x is concerned, we'll go halfway to the zeroth coordinate, which means we'll go negative eighty because our current x coordinate is negative one sixty. So we'll go there and we'll go to y100 and then we'll follow that up with a 0, 0, which is basically our end position where we want to be at. 
And that's it we need to do here. So next we can duplicate this once again. We can change this to um, negative one, two pos to one, which means we're switching, you know, the left and right cups. In this case, first I'll be going right on top here and we'll basically, uh, we'll basically be having a kind of rhombus figure. So here we'll go to first x0, y100, and then we'll follow this up by going to x160 and y0. That's it we need to do. And next it's going to be the shift to left and shift to right. So uh, let's duplicate this once again and say when we receive plus one, and that is, you know, the shift to right. In this case, I'm going to move halfway, but I'm not going to move up since everything is moving to the right. And uh, what we can just do is say, go to X negative 80 and Y stays at zero. And then we can go to zero comma zero. That's it. And finally, this is going to be, you know, the hardest if you really want to think about it, but it's still extremely easy and it's going to be negative one. So we're shifting to the left, which means the guy on the left, extreme left needs to go to the right. And remember when we're going from a left to right, we are still always going to go up and down. So we'll go in this case to X0, Y100, and then we will go to X160, um, Y0. And that's pretty much all we need to do. Now we can just throw in all of that code into the center and, and then into the right cup as well. So this may take a little bit of time. So let me throw this, throw this, and let's throw the define block as well. So let, next, let me throw the define block first, throw in the when green flag is clicked, and then throw in each one of these functions individually. Not functions, but the message receptions. So each of this, we should be having, okay, four, four blocks, and as it turned out, I messed up on my uh, center cup, because what uh, it didn't have this block set up basically, and as a result, it wasn't accepting that code. So let me do this once again quickly. I should have anticipated that bug, but uh, that's okay. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, so now, uh, okay, so maybe it was there initially. So as it turned out, the code was already there, but it's just that the define was covering it up. So cleanup should do this thing justice. So let me clean up once again, and there we go. So everything is set up neatly. I could edit this a little bit if I wanted to, and I am going to do it, but it still is pretty neatly set up. So that's going to be pretty much it as far as, you know, the general code is concerned. We just need to change a couple of things regarding, you know, when we switch and where we move. So in this case, as far as our center is concerned, first, it's going to be with the left. And um, this time we're not going to go uh, up. We're going to go down because we're moving from left. Uh, we're going to move from right to left. So in this case, you can just change this to negative 100. And then we go to X negative 160. Y0 because we're going to the extreme left. Um, now, as far as the second case is concerned, we don't even have to apply for this because the center is not going to be involved. Um, you can change this basically to be um, center and right. So you can change this to be, uh, I believe, uh, 0 to 1. And here what you can do is say go to X, 0. And remember, now we're switching from left to right, which means it goes up. So our Y position is going to stay as 100 but our X position is going to change to positive 80. Next, we'll go to 160 and zero, and that would stay the same, um, you know, regardless, because either way, our final position was to arrive at this, uh, at the right cup. Okay, so next we're gonna go to plus one, and in this case, we'll go to positive 80, zero, and then go to 160, zero. Um, shift to left is going to be easy as well. Um, in this case, I'll go to negative 80, zero, and then we will go to negative 160, zero. That's gonna be it for our center cup. Next, we can get to the right cup. And here, it's gonna be kind of similar to the left cup. Okay, so we have, uh, we can just literally reverse this plus one and minus one and just change these signs. So when we're changing from, okay, let's go each by turn. So when we're changing from negative one to zero, we don't really have to intervene here. We need to intervene only if it's only when plus one is involved. So it's gonna be zero to one, which we need to change this to. So if we're switching from zero to one, our cup is the right. So it's gonna go down and then come back up. So in this case, we'll be going to negative 100, but our X is going to be positive 80. So we go there and then go to zero comma zero. In the second case, remember once again, we're on the right. So it means we need to go down. So you can change this to negative 100 and our final position is going to be negative 160 comma zero as well. 
All right, so now in plus one, it's going to be first, we are going from, you know, here to the extreme left side. So it means we're going to zero, negative 100, and then we're going to x negative 160, zero, which is, you know, what, where the left, left cup was at. And finally, when we receive minus one, it's going to be very easy. We're just going to go towards the center, which means we go to x80, zero, and then finally back to zero comma zero. Okay, so that was a lot of code which we just did. And uh, here I'm going to um, basically, you know, tell you what the speed variable is going to do. So now we can head over to the beach ball and uh, right at the beginning of this code, you can set speed. So set speed to um, 0.33 works for me. Now I could play around with the speed variable a little bit and you can see what works best for you. 0.33 worked best for me, but I'm going to leave that to you to try it out. Uh, next, each time we're going through, you know, this uh, repeat 30, what we can do is change speed by negative 0.01. And when we do this, we're basically speeding up, uh, speeding up the pace with which the ball is going to keep changing and the shuffle is happening. So if you run your code, you should see what's really happening. So, all right, so evidently there was some problem right there where my cups were simply just disappearing. And I think the reason was because I didn't add in a show and a hide. So I will go through my code once and then I will be right back. Okay, so I found my error and it wasn't really the showing and hiding which I expected because the cops are going to be shown pretty much all the time. It's just that when the thumbnail is being shown, they're shown behind the thumbnail and thus they're not seen. Either way, the mistake was the fact that I didn't change my initial position uh, for any of the cops. So for our left cup, it's correct, but for our right cup, we need to go to x0, y0, and also within the go to, we need to say x0, y0. Uh, I'm sorry, that was for the center cup. And as far as our right cup is concerned, we go to x pause to 160, y0, and it's gonna be the same within that function as well. So once you change all of this, and then you hit the green flag, you should see a neat switching between the cups, and it's gonna get faster and faster each and every time. Uh, it's going to eventually get so fast that, you know, it's very, very difficult to keep track of it. And that's, you know, the whole point of changing the speed constantly by negative one. So either way, you can see that this whole animation is working. And I will get into the clicking and how, how we make sure that, you know, we check where the ball is at um, in the next video. And that's what we'll be doing as of now. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.